Now, election officials in Fulton County raising new concerns about absentee ballots. They're worried about ballots making it through the Postal Service on time. Atlanta News First, Lana Harris is with us this morning to talk more about it. Yes, good morning, everybody. So the U.S. Postal Service has problems on a good day. We've reported on many of them, so there's a lot of pressure on them to deliver these ballots on time this election season. Logistical issues at the massive Palmetto USPS facility have caused mail delivery delays for months. Now, elections leaders are asking people who request absentee ballots to track their progress online. If that ballot doesn't make it to you within seven to ten days of you requesting it, the experts are saying it is time to make a new plan to vote. If you have not received your ballot in seven to ten days, if you, if you're, we recommend that you do go and vote in person. You still have that option. Just okay. because we requested an absentee ballot does not mean that you have to vote by absentee. You can right. come in and vote either advanced voting or election day. Right, you could vote early. That starts tomorrow. And if you do plan to request an absentee ballot, you have to do that by October 25th and then return it by mail or in person by the time the polls close on election day, which is November 5th. Now you can track your absentee ballot on the Georgia Secretary of State's website. Atlanta News First has a step-by-step -step guide for you online right now.